Random Nautica. Have you heard of it? It's the new app. Well, it's been around for a while, but uh, it's getting more known. Now, if you haven't heard of it or don't know anything about it, apparently you put your intentions out there of what you'd want and what you'd like to find, and then you generate the coordinates. And it will take you there. Want to find out more? Stay tuned. And welcome back to the Brick and Brack Shop. And this is the portal to the unexplained, the paranormal, the spiritual via quantum physics, because I believe quantum physics will have the answers to all of this in the future. And I'm Tom from the shop. So welcome back. And have you heard of this new app, Random Nautica? And I hope I've pronounced it correctly. And I'm sorry if I haven't, but it's me. Now, if you've heard of it, um, great. How has it gone? Write your comments below. Tell me what have you found because there is so much coming up on the internet and YouTube with people and their findings with uh, Random Nautica. Now, um, if you haven't heard of uh, Random Nautica, uh, it's a new app. It's been around for a while, but the word is beginning to get out. And uh, it's an app where basically you get what you want. Put your intentions out there on what you want and then you generate the coordinates and it takes you to where you will find it. Now a lot of people have been doing this as I've said already and there you can see it on YouTube with some of the things they've um, Un uncovered, so to speak. It's very interesting though how they've always, majority of, the, of them, have gone for the, uh, the creepy, the scary, the eerie side of it. Like, let's find a haunted place. Let's find a dead body. And there has been a YouTube video showing exactly that. So, be careful what you put out there. Now, if you don't forget, if you like this video, click the like button, tell your friends, share it, and help to grow the channel, please. And if it's for your first time, please subscribe and press the bell icon and uh, the notifications so you'll always be notified when I release another video. Now, the app. Now, apparently how it works on our side of the app, you put an intention out there and um, you generate the coordinates. Now, the coordinates will take you to where your intention is. And that's where you're supposed to find it. From the technical point of view, now, when you generate the coordinates, it's actually... Um, hosted by the Australian National University in Australia on the other side of the world if you happen to be on the Northern Hemisphere, Europe, North America and uh, it gives you these coordinates and you just go and find what you want. Apparently it's supposed to work with the, um, the metaphysics and uh, the quantum side of things and it generates these thought patterns. Now the app will direct you to where a high concentration of anomalies and also it can direct you to a, a site where there's hardly any of these quantum dots. These are densities and um, sparse areas and I hope I've got that right with the reading of it all. Now, 
a lot of people have asked for all sorts of things like as I mentioned dead bodies haunted places and uh, they've got on these journeys uh, generated by um, the app to these coordinates and from some of the YouTube videos that I've seen it's quite crazy how it's led you to uh, these strange things like the one with the dead body um, someone obviously wanted to find a dead body uh, and then they found this suitcase on the beach which they thought was a bit strange and then they opened it up and uh, it smelled really bad and so they called the police and apparently there was a dead body in the suitcase but I suppose it also is your own incentive because the app will take you to the sites but you have to look around and see if there is something there that would fit in with your intention of what you wanted. There's only one video which actually saw that she this girl wanted to find fairies and she did. It was quite incredible. Um, um, I'll put the link down below and um, so I'm where there's dark, there's light, and there's enough people doing dark things, so I thought I'd do a nice thing. I'm going to use the Random Nautica app. Now forgive me if I pronounced it wrong. But it's a, it's a new app which you can download onto your phones, and it's supposed to work a bit like uh, manifesting. Put your intent out there and uh, it will take you to where it is now a lot of people are actually using it for um, to find scary places and um, haunted places dead bodies as um, you can see on uh, youtube they've um, found dead bodies <laughs> but uh, well, I'm going to go the opposite direction, and uh, and this is just a test run, and if it works, I'll put it out there. So, my intention, well, they say that uh, the Random Nautica app actually, they say it can hear what you're saying, and therefore it looks for it. And some people have tried it without saying it, they've written it down. And um, some say it still works. Well, I don't mind what it is. Because I thought about this this morning when I was waking up. And let's see if this app works. I want it to take me to the uh, winning. And I've got to be precise about this. I want the Nautica. I want the random Nautica app to take me to the... Um, jackpot winning scratch lottery ticket and this morning when I was waking up because it could because if it takes me to a shop there's quite a few so I'm putting it out there that it'll be in the top right hand corner for the winning jackpot scratch ticket so let's see if it works Well, um, as you saw, it generated a point behind some uh, shops where I know there isn't really a shop where you can buy a scratch lottery ticket. Unless it means the, um, the smaller uh, big convenience store, which is sort of close, but it's not actually on those coordinates. So you never know, I might pop in there anyway and see if I can buy one anyway but um, I'm going to generate it again and um, see where um, it takes me this time okay I've uh, regenerated it 
And again, it doesn't look like where there's any shops. Unless it's someone's private residence and they've bought a winning scratch lottery ticket. But this one is a bit of a walk. I'm not really quite sure where it is. So I'll um, venture around, have a look. And um, maybe there is a, like a corner store that sells lottery tickets. Scratch lottery tickets. So uh, we'll be on our way. Let's have a look. Walking along the main road here. And this looks like the coordinates that I've got. Is it this residential block? Has someone in this block got a winning scratch lottery ticket? The jackpot. Well, I've got around the building just in case it's not the right one, and in case there may be shops on the other side of the building, but it looks like there's just more houses and more residential uh, buildings around here. But uh, looking at the coordinates, it's pointing to that building. So. Maybe some lucky person in there has the uh, jackpot winning lottery ticket. Congratulations to them. Now, the thing is, I thought, well, maybe it could be because the idea is that uh, the app will take me to a shop to buy the winning lottery tickets. And so um, since it didn't, it took me to these houses. I thought, well, maybe the next closest thing. So I went to the closest shop where I could buy a scratch lottery ticket. So I went into the shop, see if they sold scratch lottery tickets, but they don't. But the man was nice enough to recommend another shop further up the road. So I'll pop along and um, see. Well, I've walked quite a way. It was a bit further than what I expected, but there's the shop. And I'm gonna go in and uh, buy a scratch lottery ticket, see how that goes. So I went into the shop to get my winning jackpot scratch lottery ticket. Now, I went to the stand, the cabinet, Remember, it's the top right winning card. And that one, that space, was completely empty. What do I do? Well, I've gone in and bought the lottery ticket, the scratch lottery ticket. Actually, as I said earlier, I wanted the uh, top right hand corner and this was quite a predicament because there was nothing in the top right hand corner so I bought the one next to it and the one below it so I have uh, two so uh, we'll get back and I'll scratch them all and see how we go so I'm on my way back and uh, I thought I'd look at the location of the first coordinates and um, this is it actually. So it's, there's no shops, it's all houses. So um, I bought my um, first scratch lottery from uh, the closest place and uh, We'll go back and um, have a look. So I've got my winning lottery ticket. Uh, now this is the one, the first one I bought. And then these are the second ones. <laughs> and I had to buy two because as I said, the one in the top right hand side was missing. So these were the ones around it. So let's scratch and see 
how good this app is. Okay, so uh, we're going to do the scratch. So I've got the um, the lottery ticket there, a little coin. So um, here's a go. This is the first one. So we have the bonus game. Let's have a look. No lucky thumb. Second one. No lucky thumb. And a crown. But, um, no lucky thumb to win a um, bonus game. So, uh, let's do, um, the games. Game one. So see what our winning number is. And it's 33. So we've just got to see if we get a 33 just down here. Unfortunately, looking for a 33. No, 33. Okay, game two. Nor the 33. It's a bit like watching the national draws of the lotto. So unfortunately, <clears throat> this card from um, the first position, from the shop closest to the first position, was um, no go. So, okay. So we have the second one. The... Uh, the three pound one let's do this one and basically with this one we'll scratch this and we'll, we'll, it will reveal our symbols and with these we have to mark off the symbols in each line going down or across and there's actually 16 here so uh, we'll see and our top prize for this is three hundred thousand pounds that's the jackpot for the um for this scratch card okay so let's scratch the uh, the symbols away so let's see if we've got a row unfortunately not so that's a no-go with this one and um bit of a shame really oh well all these scratchings away so it looks like um, the best for last okay hey so monopoly we all most of us probably have played the monopoly board game this is a bit uh, different but uh, let's see and let's see how uh, our luck goes especially with the app so We've got to reveal these three symbols, hopefully to reveal uh, a national lottery symbol to receive this prize. Okay. And none again. Okay, so the next one. Winning symbols. Okay, and we have none of those there okay so now for this game they don't so we missed out on a hundred pounds now this is the final one to see how good the app was <laughs> Okay, they don't match. So we didn't even get £200. So that looks like this was a dud as well. So what about the app? 
manifest your intention so it takes you to what you want. And I wanted the jackpot in the winning scratch lottery ticket. The coordinates that it took me to led me to uh, residential places. Unless those places actually had a winning lottery ticket there. It's hard to say. So the next best thing was to go to a place where I could purchase one. And these were the closest locations, the shops were the lo closest locations which to uh, purchase them. I suppose it depends on your um, how specific you were. It did lead me, maybe there is one out of the hundreds of scratch lottery tickets that were in the shops. Uh, I couldn't buy them all. So maybe it is there, but I just didn't buy the right one. Who's to know? Anyway, this exercise for me personally was a bit of a failure. Exciting, interesting, fun, but a failure in the exercise. So maybe if I put out for a, um, a dead body, maybe I wouldn't have found one either. So uh, maybe it's just an app that generates coordinates and uh, we just have uh, put our minds to it and say there is something there and we've gone to those coordinates and um, some of us have found stuff and some of us haven't so um, what do you think have you had any experience with the random nautica app if you have put the um, comments below see how they go and um, were you successful were you not successful and if you haven't tried it yet try it and see what happens um well that's my experience with the round of nautica app that's just one go maybe two i'm not quite sure if the uh, two different locations makes it two goes um maybe it's all a bit of hype who knows anyway with manifesting. Manifesting works. It's happened to me and uh, I'll be putting out a few more episodes about manifesting because it's an interesting topic because I've manifested a few things but it's always when you least expect it. Well that's my experience anyway. Put it out there and forget about it. Now I'll talk about that in my other episode. So um, if you've enjoyed this, I'm a bit deflated actually, but if you've enjoyed it, click the like button, tell your friends and share the, uh, the video and um, yeah, get more people to subscribe and join and let's grow this as a, a community into the uh, unexplained and what's really going on and in this case I think it's just a a numbers generator for coordinates and we've just put the other stuff into it which is intention which is basically what you have to do really it's the intention maybe my intention wasn't wasn't um, strong enough so anyway my intention is that you've enjoyed this video Click the like button, tell your friends, share the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. So I'll see you again and press the bell icon and the notifications so uh, you'll be notified when I do release new videos. And it'll be good to see you back again and I'm sure you'll be glad to see me and uh, we'll try and uh, explain something else. 
I'm not really that um, enthusiastic about random nautica because I think that's what it is. It's a numbers coordinate generator, that's all. And we just think we're going to find something there. What do you think? Put it down in the comments. Um, until next time, keep well and happy. Well, because it's always good to be well and safe and happy because you feel good and you're on a higher vibration. And if you're on a higher vibration, you can attract good things. So until then, I'll see you. Bye.